So my first technical advice for professors is to stand. I hope you can see I'm currently standing. I have a standing desk uh, at my house. If you think about teaching and about what the act of professing is, we are always standing. You never have taught sitting down before. And in fact, if you just simply stand, uh, your shoulders move, you can move your hands more readily, and already your visual presence inside the images, uh, inside the video feed will be much more dynamic uh, for students. Now, I've been using a particular technical solution which involves a green screen that allows me to put myself over my slides. And that uh, solution is this software program called OBS Studio. It's a free, easy to use software. If you're a scientist and you're using complex software, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, what it does is it allows you to take um, multiple inputs, for example, your PowerPoint, a browser, your camera, send them and place them on an artboard, which then creates a virtual camera that gets sent to Zoom. And you can switch between various different views very easily, all without having that sort of friction of stopping your screen share, starting a new screen share, et cetera. Okay, so I've been using this Open Broadcaster Studio. It's what I'm using now. What you're currently seeing is my camera superimposed over uh, my PowerPoint uh, presentation. This software OBS Studio, I, I think it is really great. I really encourage people to use it. It allows me to do cool stuff like this where I can um, superimpose the chat from the Zoom over uh, my browser. So as I'm answering questions in the chat, they can directly uh, see the chat. So this is the live chat from this um, Zoom. And uh, I can do all sorts of fun stuff um, when the class starts, I usually, uh, the Zoom opens a bit early. Uh, I show them then uh, a class intro scene like this. I can play a little bit music if I'm quiet for a minute. Maybe you hear the Beethoven coming through. This is Alfred Bendel and Adrian Brendel's uh, Beethoven's uh, sonata, cello sonata. And uh, so with this kind of stuff, you can have so much fun playing around create all sorts of different views, uh, switch rapidly between them. And again, the software is free and pretty easy to use. So I would encourage everybody uh, to check it out. And I know that's a little bit of a light show song and dance that I did there. I, I, trust me, in my classes, it's really not so flashy. It really is just, I talk, but I can switch back and forth between a couple of different views. And really for students who are watching this, um, you know, it's, uh, it's much more dynamic to have uh, something that changes about the screen because instead of it just being a static PowerPoint that you're sharing with the professor up above, it allows for a more um, fluid and dynamic changing of different scenes. And I think that that makes the lectures themselves um, more engaging to watch.